So far, we've done everything in offline mode. Everything that we've prepared has been stored in files and, for the time being, is on your PC. However, in order to be able to transfer this data from your PC to the Ciprotec device, you now need to switch to online mode. In this operating mode, you can also read out process data from the Ciprotec device, carry out test functions, or control equipment. Online mode requires a physical connection between your PC and the Ciprotec device. The simplest communication route between PC and Ciprotec device is a direct connection. All you require for this is a serial cable like the one included with Dixie 4. Connect this cable to a free serial interface of the PC. Connect the other end of the cable to the operating interface of the Ciprotec device. Before Dixie 4 can establish a communication connection to a Ciprotec device for the first time, it must be initialized. During initialization, the device is uniquely addressed. You will find the initialization command in the pop-up menu of the device symbol. In the dialog that appears, select the designation of the PC port to which the connecting cable of the device is attached. Please retain the default settings for all other communication parameters. During initialization, any existing data in the device is deleted. For this reason, you will be prompted to confirm that you really want initialization to start. As a further protective measure, you need to enter a password. The device is now initialized. As soon as this process is finished, Dixie 4 automatically disconnects the PC and the device. If you just want to transfer parameter values that are stored in a file to the device, there is a special menu command. The transfer is password protected. In the connection dialog, specify the type of connection between PC and device. But please note that a modem connection is not possible for this type of transmission. Dixie 4 now establishes a connection and transfers all the relevant data to the device. The connection is then automatically disconnected. In order to open your Ciprotec device with Dixie 4, double-click the respective device symbol. For standard direct connection, select the Direct option in the selection dialog. Please also recheck that the correct settings are set for the PC and the device interface. While the connection is being established, a range of different messages provide a progress report on the current status. Once the connection is successfully established, you will see the Dixie Device Editor. Now you can enter your settings as usual. Please note that these are not immediately effective in the device, but are initially placed in temporary storage on your computer. Using the Dixie device command, you can transfer the settings to the device at a time of your preference. In online mode, you change the parameter values in exactly the same way as if you were working offline, except that in this case, you are viewing and editing parameter values that are in the Ciprotec device. You can transfer changed values directly to the connected device. Transfer is password protected. You can of course change these passwords individually. Before you switch back to offline mode, you should save all change parameter values in files. This guarantees that the values you access when working offline are identical to those in the Ciprotec device. A very useful feature is the parameter comparison. This allows you to compare parameter values, for example those that are stored for a device in files, with those actually stored in the device itself. Using a filter function, you can create an individual subset taken from a maximum number of comparable parameters and use it as reference comparison. Then just click Start and the parameter values are immediately compared. Dixie 4 then displays the results of the comparison structured according to categories. In online mode, you have access to all the indications, measured values and fault records that are stored in the Ciprotec device. The operator tree of the Dixie device editor gives you a clearly structured overview of these process data. This can also be read out and displayed if so required. With a single mouse click, Dixie 4 stores the process data in files, which means even in offline mode, 
you have complete access to all these data. As a condition for controlling the equipment, Dixie 4 requires switching authority. For this purpose, the remote operation of the Supertech 4 device must be activated using the key lock switch. Dialog assisted, you can then switch the ground electrodes, disconnectors and circuit breakers on or off directly from Dixie 4. These types of switching process are also password protected of course and can be made dependent on specific interlocking conditions. For really fast and simple access to device information, your best bet is plug and play. Plug and play is a special form of direct connection as all you need is an empty project in Dixie Manager. While the connection is being established, a device is generated within this project, which is then assigned all the data of the real Cyprotec device. The only condition is that the default parameter record of the destination device type is installed on your computer. This is easily checked with a quick glance at your device catalog. If the device type is not there, install it from the Dixie 4 program CD. In the pop-up menu of Dixie Manager, now click Device Dixie Plug and Play. A list appears from which you can select the basic version of the connected device, meaning Cyprotec 2, 3 or 4. You then need to specify the serial interface used on the PC. You can usually just accept the existing setting for the transmission format, also called a frame. As soon as you click OK, Dixie 4 establishes a connection to the device, transfers all the relevant data from the PC, and then clears down the connection.